Third? <laughs> IT security question. Okay, yeah. Good morning. I'm Christian, CTO at Bitpanda, and thank you for your questions regarding IT security. <clears throat> First question from Doodle on Twitter. Do you have white hats which check the systems for security vulnerabilities? Uh, yes, we do, both internally and externally, actually. We have certified pen testers in our teams, which continuously checking our new services and, and new products before they go live. Additionally, we have a bug bounty program being open for everyone to submit their findings. The rewards start there from 100 US dollar and can go up to $15,000, and they are being paid out in Bitcoin. Check the link to the bug bounty program up here. Der eins Worf asking on Twitter, how many team members are directly full-time involved in IT security at Bitbanda? Um, we don't want to manage a large dedicated security team uh, in terms of headcount because we think security teams don't scale. But when they do their job really good, um, the mindset will infect all the others in terms of their security mindset. Our aim is to bake security into everything we do at Bitwanda. Uh, so that means we want to shift left the security part to everybody who is working. Nevertheless, we are currently operating with 13 professionals uh, in the security area in four different distinct areas. It's information security, corporate ID security, DevSecOps and product security. Uh, the last two are purely engineering teams and they work directly along with our product engineers. The hunt. Mario Müller is asking on Twitter, how possible is it to access the wallet at Bitbanda, not the owner, if you have uh, 2FA enabled? So a second factor always adds additional security to the standard username and password if it's handled correctly. Because the attacker would need to have all the factors, so they would need to have your email and password, access to your email to approve the device, and the second factor code. And the likelihood of this scenario depends on the user in the end, but it's definitely harder to leak the password and the to a code to an attacker. What's really important is that you always use a different password, especially a different password to your email account, because if you lose this password, the email account is always uh, an additional factor to approve your new device. More about password best practices in the link above. Okay. Next question from Antje on Twitter. Is there a disaster recovery plan in place just in case? And is it periodically tested? Is there a specific role for controlling IT security in the company? That's really a good question and I believe there is some professional IT security background. We recently announced that we are ISO 27001 certified and this also mandates policies and processes defined and implemented for business continuity planning and disaster recovery. We have multiple tiers of security and encrypted backups and also about our configuration. We also run our services in highly available in a distributed manner. This way we can fail over in different ways responding to various scenarios. And yes, there is a dedicated role for information security and corporate IT security. Wotan? Wotan from Team40 on Twitter is asking, will it be possible in the future to use a ledger with Bitbanda, a kind of whitelisting for your own private cold wallet? It's a good idea, we want to implement this, but we cannot give a specific timeline for now. Next question from Xfile on Twitter. Why are my crypto assets safe at Bitbanda and cannot be stored? Unfortunately, nothing in this life is 100% safe, but we take the user safety very serious at Bitbanda. It's basically a natural part in everything what we do. To reach a high level of security, it's important to tackle all the entry points for an attack and to implement measures against it, but also to have an internal control system to monitor and alert. We also practice a secure software development lifecycle in order to build our products and we also have a ISO certification, we do external audits, we have the highest standard on DevSecOps and we do much much more. As employees are also very important in our security setup, we constantly train our pandas turn and raise awareness of different security topics. Check out our dedicated security page with more information. Jonas is asking on Instagram, what firewalls do you guys use? Uh, we use various layers of defense. This includes, of course, firewalls, proxies, and gateways. Additional components are intrusion detection and prevention systems. Our security teams have a holistic view of our environment to quickly follow up on suspicious events. To answer directly, the first layer of defense our users will pass through is Cloudflare, which provides a web application firewall. Cloudflare, yeah. Have you Cloudflare? Not Cloudflare. Okay. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha
Sophie is asking on Instagram, what IT achievements do you have compared to other large crypto exchanges and where do you see room for improvement? I mean, I cannot speak for others, but we are proud of uh, 4i principle implemented on all critical actions. Uh, we have extensive monitoring and alerting. Uh, as mentioned before, we have a bug bounty program. Bug bounty program. We also have an ISO certification and we also have external audits of our change management and user access management. What we can and want to improve even more is the features we offer to our customers. For example, support for hardware keys as a second factor. Internet Tube is asking on Instagram, why is there still no support for Fido 2 keys? This is already in our backlog, but we are very careful introducing new security features. So usually this takes a bit longer than standard product features. But yeah, you should be able very soon to use your beloved Fido 2 compliant gadgets. <laughs> Thank you for asking. It was really cool to see the quality and depth of the questions. I tried my best to answer them because this is really an important topic for us. Hopefully see you next time.